Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Voice Logs, the long, 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 long awaited episode uh, 17. Um, why did it take so long? Okay, I think I need to explain myself. It's been about a month, right? Um, I'm seeing here from my little chart that the last episode came out on October 21st. Yeah, it's been a little bit. So there are some updates uh, to what's been going on. So now I'm actually on break. Uh, so I do have some break time between the term. Things kind of got a little very much hectic uh, near the end of the term. So uh, it's been it's been uh, it's been fun. Um, now it's time to relax for a little bit, uh, catch up on the sleep and, you know, try to have a little bit of fun before the next term starts in a week. Um, now, as far as what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm uh, getting ready to play some uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, very excited for that game. Uh, I think uh, for this episode, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be talking about. I think I'm just going to do just a, a bunch of different kinds of topics. The first is just some like cool reception to Jedi Fallen Order that I've seen and reviews and stuff. I actually haven't played it yet. I'm in the midst of downloading it and copying it into the PlayStation. Uh, but I have heard that it's a really cool sort of mashup game that has like a Star Wars skin. It's uh, It's got aspects of God of War. It's got aspects of other, um, you know, uh, third-person action games, Uncharted, things like that. It's not it's not a PlayStation exclusive, by the way. I don't know. I'm only using PlayStation exclusives as uh, examples. But, yeah, it has a cool, cool sort of flair. And um, so I'm pretty excited to play it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, that wasn't a little blip. <laughs> if you thought it was like an excuse me, and then I kind of duplicated it. And it, because it kind of sounded like, excuse me, excuse me. So it kind of sounded as if I just copied, copied and pasted myself. But no, that was this is all live. Uh, Voice logs is completely live for y'all y'all's ears. Uh, it's just me kind of talking. And now I'm uh, this morning. I woke up uh, six this morning and uh, went to my exam eight fifty, and it is currently uh, twelve o'clock that I'm recording this. So it's been a quite a quite a long day. Uh, so if I don't sound very coherent, it's probably that, like, you know, that's the reason. It's also probably the fact that I haven't gotten any sleep, you know, the past four weeks, but you know, don't do that. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't sacrifice your sleep, uh, for, um, things. Uh, sleep is very important. And I think we've talked about this before in the, uh, the, 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 what's the episode called? Uh, don't be too tired to self-care. Very cool episode. And I'm really proud of the message that that one brings. You know, it's 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 a hugely important to uh, to take care of yourself because we do get hung up on things that we're doing. And we kind of lose sight of the the self, the, you know, the, the you know, yourself kind of deteriorating de deteriorating <laughs> in uh in whatever you're doing especially when you're pushing yourself really hard uh to to do whatever it is that you're doing so especially now you know in this this world that you know the very cliche thing this very fast paced world uh things are always changing take some time to relax take some time to self care take some time to sleep I know I am, especially this week. Take some time to sleep. And you know, do something that you like. Do something that you enjoy. Uh play play a video game. Go go buy Star Wars. Go buy Call of Duty. Go uh go to the spa. Go uh take a nap. Go watch Disney Plus. Because that's a new streaming service that has hit the interwebs. I did get Disney Plus. I've been using it for about when did it come out? A couple of weeks now? Yeah. Uh, so, no, a week. A week, yeah. Because it came out the 15th. Uh, so I've been using Disney Plus for about a week. It's been cool. It is 
Disney Plus. I mean, the name does fit. It has all the Disney movies that you would expect. It, some of them, like um, uh, Coco, uh, like some Marvel movies are still on Netflix. So um, you're kind of waiting. You don't have everything, but you have 99% of them. Uh, you have, uh, it's a really cool UI, um, user interface for those of you that don't speak techie. Um, it's got all the different, uh, pillars, I guess you could say of Disney, the different companies. You've got Disney, you've got Pixar, you've got Marvel and Star Wars and National Geographic. And, uh, the, you, you've got, you can click into those and go to specific shows. You have a bunch of drop down lists. It is, it is kind of bare bones and it is a little laggy. Uh, a lot of the times when I with uh, like my main issue is like audio and video disconnection like the the video will kind of lag and then it'll lag behind the audio and you're kind of you know the the well, the words don't match up with the voices uh, with the, <laughs> the the words don't match up with the, what you're seeing the picture so that's my issue with that um, I, I've heard a lot of people um, we have been to when we're watching. Uh, complaining about the continue watching section because it kind of it's not like Netflix where you have everything like continue watching you know for you and stuff like that um, where they have all the shows that you have been watching so you can't like you can resume but you have to go to that same episode so you're basically doing all the steps of going to that episode and then clicking on it it's not like right on your main page which is kind of inconvenient especially if you're watching a whole bunch of stuff because there are like 700 movies or something. I think 3,000 3, hours of TV or whatever, something like that. It's a, it's a lot of content. It's a lot of Disney content. So if you're into Disney, it is worth it. I mean, if you're into all the classics, they've got all the classics. If you're into the Disney Channel shows, they've got all the Disney Channel shows. I love watching Star Wars, The Clone Wars. That's like one of my favorite um TV series. It's a cool, cool show. For we're just gonna do a little tangent here for those where I've never seen Star Wars: The Clone Wars. It's an awesome show. It's an anthology-like series where not all the episodes kind of they don't go in a serial order where it's episode one, two, three, and then the, you know the they kind of fit you know like that uh, where one plays out in the next. Um, they kind of continue. Um, this is an anthology series, so they're kind of, it's like two, two, three to four episode little bur uh, spurts of story. So you'll have a, a couple episodes focused on one story, and then you'll jump to another story, and um, they don't go in order. And it's it doesn't see it doesn't like, disjointed, like the way that I'm describing it. It's not like, you know... It's not like a, it's, it's coherent in the way it's telling the story, but it's not, it's not uh, chronological. That's the that's the best way of explaining that. And you don't even have to go in order. You can pick and choose different storylines to go through. I'm sure you can look at it look it up online if you're curious. You can look up uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars storylines, and uh, I'm sure there there's episode breakdowns and stuff like that where you can watch specific storylines. They're really cool storylines, really cool planets and. And um, and and locations, people that uh, that are that are visited, uh, very deep cuts in the Star Wars lore. They do fix a lot of like the the uh, the errors of the early movies, the the prequels that really um, <laughs> you know they kind of irked a lot of people. Uh, the prequels weren't the best things, but it's really cool how they portray Anakin. Uh, Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan, a fan favorite character. It's um, it's cool because you get to experience them over a long period of time. I think that's what it is, and over. I think in the movie, in this one sort of, I mean, it's it's a trilogy, so you're seeing them in three different kind of stories. Here you're seeing really cool stories like uh, with the Mandalore. Um, the planet of Mandalore and things like that, um, which is also big. The Mandalorian, which is also a cool show on Dis uh, Disney Plus. Um, yeah, it's like, it's cool. It's cool. It's a it's a cool show that brings more life to characters that 
may have not gotten the best treatment in the movies. So I would definitely recommend it. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Uh, but, you know, bringing it up now, the main reason I think why I got Disney Plus, my sister is a huge fan of Disney. So we probably would have gotten anyway just for her. But Disney Plus for me, the main thing is, of course, having that Star Wars The Clone Wars back. But also um, The Mandalorian, which is a really good... It's a good show. It's a really cool, and I think it's really well told because it's a, it's a it's a, it's a, sh- a slow slow burn kind of show. And the same person, uh, Dave Filoni, um, I think it's Dave Filoni producing it or some sort of creative position, and then John Favreau's producing it. And uh, Dave Filoni is a really cool character, <laughs> you know. If not, I mean, not in terms of the Star Wars universe, versus really cool character, like personality kind of character, uh, in just like um, modern Star Wars storytelling, because he uh, was uh, in part. He was in part of making the. Uh, he was, I think he was creative director or something like that, something creative. He does all the creative st- uh, decisions for uh the star wars the clone wars so that was uh it's really cool to see him come back i think he did also for star wars rebels i'm not exactly sure about that which was also a good show uh that kind of wrapped up some loose ends from from the clone wars which was kind of it's it's a cool sort of uh, notion and i think uh, star wars the clone wars is coming back now uh to tell more stories so that's cool but in, in terms of the mandalore uh the mandalore <laughs> the mandalorian uh, it's a cool show. Pedro Pascal plays the Mandalorian, at least the voice. I'm not sure if he plays. You don't see his face in the thing. It's like a you know, if you've seen the first episode, you'll know um, the Mandalorian sort of way. But it's it's it is a slow burn because the first episode, nothing really, not a lot happens. I mean, there's some action scenes. It's really well filmed. It's filmed classically uh, because those characters are uh, the characters in that in the show that are um, interacting with the Mandalorian, the Mandalorian himself, they're all human. No, none are CGI. Uh, there are some, you know, big monster things coming out of the water and stuff, uh, coming out of caves that are. Uh, but the, 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 the aliens that are populating the world and the bars and the, the streets, things like that, they're all humans and they're all with makeup and stuff. So it makes it feel a little bit more, not not like real, but, uh, kind of funny, jokey, campy sort of. Uh, so it's a cool, like, like classic Star Wars, like like what Star Wars should be. You know, it's not like a serious. It, it is it per- portraying serious uh, messages in a funny way, and I think that's a cool thing about Star Wars because you could have fun with it, but you could also tell a cool, interesting story about war, war time, and the people within it. And the stories that kind of come out of it. Uh, the stories of love and hope and uh, togetherness, friendship, things like that. Because that's what Star Wars should be, I think. It's a family story in and of itself, you know, for, since the beginning. So that's what The Mandalorian is. Essentially, you know, I won't spoil it, but it seems... I mean, I've only watched up, uh, watched up to episode two now, but it seems like it is going to be some sort of family telling story coming together um, thing. The Mandalorian himself is involved closely with the Mandalorian people, so he's close there, and it, it seems there, there, like there is going to be some sort of internal struggle in the heat of war, in the heat of uh, battle, things like that, the Mandalorian way. I don't know. It's cool. I'd recommend it. Uh, But you could also wait for the whole thing to come out and wait for Disney Plus to get a little bit more stable and maybe in in a month or so and and watch um, probably the whole thing then. I'm not actually sure how many episodes it is, but they did spend, uh, Disney did spend $120 million producing it, so I'm sure it's a pretty decent size. Uh, The the episodes are about a half an hour to 35 minutes long per per episode, which is kind of short, but... Uh, if there are a good amount of a good amount of episodes and a good amount of story per episode, I think um, it should be good. And Dave Filoni again, he is producing it, so it is kind of his style, uh, the style that he uses in Clone Wars too, where the characters are given a lot of time to just 
like marinate to sit and to talk and to kind of develop so it's it's cool it's a cool way because you know it's a cool way to tell Star Star Wars stories because there are so many individual characters that are usually just brushed aside for the quote unquote popular characters the the well known the famous characters like Darth Vader and the uh, the Skywalker family and the few people that kind of function in and around the family so definitely recommend it in terms of anything else that I wish to talk about now I think uh, what it is in terms of let's let's kind of go away from fun uh, random stuff I think in terms of voice logs what I may do is go down to one a week on the Friday uh, just so I can be hopefully a little bit more consistent it is hard when um, I'm trying to bring episodes out that are also entertaining uh, in, ter- in the midst of everything and uh, episodes that have new topics and things like that. So I'm going to try uh, to get things out to you guys. And I'm going to try to make them fun, try to make them entertaining, try to make them wholesome. So I am going to go now I'm gonna play some Star Wars I hope you guys are having a great day I want you if you can if you can uh, subscribe to the logs follow the logs on your favorite podcasting services you could subscribe on YouTube go and like follow comment on our Facebook on our Instagram and on our Twitter you can also go to the merch store the merch store on Teespring, you can get really, really cool designs from the logs. All custom-made designs that have really kind of, you can wear them anywhere, you know? That's that's the main thing, you know? you can They're cool designs that can be worn anywhere, and that's the logs way, right? Because we're interested in making cool, cool characters for any situation, Right? Because you're beautiful people and you sh- you deserve to be out there in that world making changes. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you keep enjoying the logs. I hope you go back and listen to all the other episodes. If you haven't already, click a download button, click a play button, listen to them in the car, in the gym, on a walk. If your phone is waterproof in the shower, you can listen to them anywhere. Uh, So, yeah, have fun, enjoy, live life, keep on laughing, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm.